It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Niners and the Bills. And it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 25. All right, no table is safe outside of Highmark Stadium because this crowd is loud and this crowd is ready for a ball game. We're just outside of Buffalo in Orchard Park, New York. Alongside Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. To this game, Brock, where there is no hiding who the spotlight is on. When well, you've got two quarterbacks of this caliber on the same field, we know all eyes go directly to them. Yeah, both of these QBs enjoy their status as some of the best at the position in the game. They also crave these kind of matchups, Kate, where there's somebody else from that elite tier standing right on the other sideline. These type of peers bring out the very best of each other, and of course, they both want to secure a marquee win over the other today. Here's Tyler Bass to get this one started. And off we go from Highmark Stadium. It's Debo Samuel with the return. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. So here come the 49ers for their opening drive. And bringing them out, so you cannot call him irrelevant ever again. Took his team to the Super Bowl last year. It's Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy proved that his rookie year was no fluke. 31 touchdowns will do that. But what I loved was the efficiency, the rating, and not just me, it's what Kyle Shanahan did just listen to those 49ers teammates talk about Brock Purdy. Sure, he threw for almost 4,300 yards, but just at every turn, on every stage, this guy delivers. In fact, he became the only the eighth quarterback to take a team to the Super Bowl in their second season in the history of this league. Can't wait to watch Brock Purdy continue to take more and more steps with this invaluable experience he's gained as a young player. And he just hooks this one away. It wasn't going to risk a throw for something. It brings up second down. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. Pretty now on second and ten. this and it's your time to put out this fire so now the bills will get their turn at an opening drive of the game and leading them out is the seventh year pro seems to be in the mvp conversation every year now it's josh allen and it was another mvp caliber season for josh this season to go double digit wins huge numbers this guy just produces and has each and every year and what i love and I know his organization loves was him breaking that NFL quarterback record with 15 rushing touchdowns. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Motioning him from the slot right. Allen comes out throwing. Tyler Bass on now for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Rams will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Starting from the five. 
He stopped on the return at the 27. San Francisco headed out for its second possession of the game. They watched their fumble turn into points, so feeling maybe a little bit of an urge to make up for that now in this series. the punt team and the kicks away so this one will go out of bounds and they'll start the drive inside their own 30. the buffalo offense out there for their second drive of the contest and so far they've executed exactly how they drew it up rock early lead no points allowed and a chance now to seize control of the game on their second possession and kate generally offenses love to script their first 10 to 15 plays well this entire game script is playing out just the way they want to they're out and set, first and ten. First toe of the game for James Cook. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of down. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. Runs like that one, baby. That's where you can really see how locked in and in sync this offense is. Choreography up front to get all the blocking in place. The back's ability to see those holes as they open up. And the coach is finding the right call, Kate, for the right moment. It's beautiful to watch when a plan comes together. Motioning the tight end now. First down, and they go right back to it. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Not sure if it was a missed assignment on the line, a dominant play on his part, or maybe a little bit of both, Kate, but look at those dudes down there defensively. Man, they are fired up after that stick behind the line. Back to the line they go. It's second down. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He finds Kincaid. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. see what they draw up on a third and seven. It's Allen out of the pistol. That's caught for the first. They get to him. He loses the football. It's out. And this one kicks out at the five. Lucky break that keeps a scoring opportunity alive here. They rip off a big chuck of field and it sets him up with first and goal. Well, nearly the end of that series, partner. You can almost see those players rooting for the ball to bounce across that sideline before a defender made the recovery. Yeah, sometimes that sideline's a player's worst enemy, mm -hmm. but sometimes it could be their best friend, and this is one of those times where that best friend delivered. Now the shotgun give to Cook, and he's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, these DNs love to get after the quarterback, but the most well-rounded of them are the guys who can anchor your run defense, too. Mission accomplished. Leading 10 yards now as they line up in second and goal. Again, it's Cook. And the D 
defense gets there to force a small loss. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief with his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. Operating from the gun. It's Allen. Quick second score for him, Brock, already. And we aren't even out of this opening quarter yet. I think I just saw that D coordinator rip up his game plan down <laughs> the sidelines. Because you got to find some new resources here. You got you to dedicate more bodies, more physicality to this playmaker. Because we know in this league, when you get a guy going like this, they're going to go to him until you stop him. Bass gets the extra point to go. Bills drive out to an early 14 nothing lead. Kick this away. Return coming from the six. This return makes it up to the 25. So here come the 49ers on offense. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. You know, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. Starts out with a first and ten. They'll start this one on the ground with McCaffrey. And he maneuvers through the middle for a gain of four. Shotgun snap for Purdy. He's on the move. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. And the defense comes through to back them up and hit a fourth down. These defenders, they can just feel it. They're up a couple scores in the game, and you know what the other side is starting to do. They're starting to press, and you're going to start to see a little bit more pass. And that, well, that's when these defenders pin their ears back. They get home, and they create havoc in the sack. Just like that. Here comes Pat O'Donnell back to the field for a punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. Got 44 yards on his first kick, Brock, and this one looks to be longer. And this one soars out of bounds. The only question is where they will mark it. Looks like it's going short of the 40. The Bills and Keon Coleman are running out to the field. And while one sideline has zero points, this offense, well, they have had zero issues so far getting into that end zone. They are rolling right now, Kate. And unless there's a speed bump on the immediate horizon, things are at risk of getting out of hand. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Allen. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. 
Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, then you gotta go finish it. You gotta go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. Back to the air, Allen. That's incomplete left side. Couldn't connect with Amari Cooper. And things look tougher now with third and long. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams will call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, you got to count on those being efficient and effective. Allen on third down. He beams one deep right side. In disaster averted, he knocks away the deep ball incomplete. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches read and react? Read and react. You got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. So on fourth down, on comes Sam Martin to handle the punt for the Bills. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Now out comes the San Francisco offense. And Brock, these guys are still searching. They are still searching for their first points, but beyond that, they don't even have a first down yet. Not even one? No, they're still searching. <laughs> anyway. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. On the gun is Purdy. Anticipated the quick staccato pass there. It's knocked away. Incomplete. Could not beat the defender there. So it'll be second down. Read and react. Read and react. Read and react. Got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going. And you got to react as it begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away. Back to the air on second. Kirby. Cap on Debo Samuel. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. It's a pickup of 11. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. There's no route on the old proverbial route tree, Kate, that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. On first and ten, it's McCaffrey. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Christian Benford up to make that stop. Kick the running back in motion. Second and six now. Won't make the play on that one. It hits the deck. Incomplete. No connection on the last play. And out third down. Working out of the gun. It's Purdy. Into the hands of the rookie from Florida. And they'll take him down at the 43 yard line. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. Let's see how they attack this first down block from the 43. Purdy to throw it. It's taken in by Yuschen. And I'll have a small four-yard chunk there. Brought down by Rasul Douglas. I remember talking to Jim Harbaugh one time when Bo Schimbeckler asked him when he was a head coach. Do you have a tight end with his hand on the ground? Yes, coach. Do you have a fullback still on your roster? Yes, coach. And you can be just fine. To throw again. It's Purdy. He lays out. the first you know Kate you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game a lot of times it's for shorter yardage but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that Purdy on first down cut by 
Jennings. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Second and four. We'll get this complete to Jennings. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 24 on that play. And that's a 49er first down. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route throw that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. First down throw by Purdy. Pass it down close. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you can take a lift at any time. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Nothing for them on second down, and now it's third and one. Chances of stalling this drive defensively seem bleak, but how about now? <laughs> Look at those odds change, okay? Still not great, but you can feel the momentum on their side. Maybe they can muster it up and get back to back stops. He couldn't hang on, Brock, and looked like a touchdown, but it slips right through his hands, and now it's fourth down. Yeah, that's one that's going to haunt him. There's just no question about it. A drop touchdown in the end zone. Now comes the mental toughness part of it. you got to flush that play quickly so you can make an impact later. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll get him back to 11. to kick it away. Here's Moody. And this won't be a return. It's going to be a touchback, but because it hit in the landing zone first, Brock, per the new rules this season, the ball comes out to the 20 and not the 30. Buffalo sending its offense to the field. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. Escapes a defender. And they finally and bring him down. But that is a big game and a new set of downs. They strike for 23 yards. And that's good for Bill's first down. These runs, you get maybe a couple of them a game, right, Kate? He breaks that one, and we see him start to foot race. I think we were all rooting for the touchdown just a little bit. That's the type of effort that deserves to finish it in the end zone. And he's brought down for a loss. That's one that's going to show up in the meeting room and be very clear. The eye in the sky never lies. Somewhere a blocking assignment was missed, and there was no escaping to the outside to find any space on that counter run. Offense to the line for second down. Allen setting up to throw. Connection made to Coleman. And the tackles made just beyond midfield at the 48. And we will not get another play. That's going to do it for the first quarter. It's a two-score game early. We'll return to Highmark Stadium in just a moment.
We're back for the second quarter. Bills in possession of the football. They've got third and two to start out. for me to call blitzes and when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback you've earned nothing they'll come up first and ten they've got a man in motion first and ten here's allen short throw is drops this one's incomplete he was looking amari cooper's way there and it's going to be second down hey listen drops happen in football it is a part of the game even for the very best Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And they had that one contained right at the line. Brought down by Fred Warner. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. you want to see almost bringing it in they are so fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick the bills will turn to their kicker tyler bass for the field goal try from the right hash this is going to be a 41 yarder and that one is good a little longer but no problem at all and that extends their lead to 14. now to kick this away Samuel now to return it coverage team gets him down at the 26 yard line now the 49ers getting set to go on offense and down double digits Brock field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to Drive started. First and ten. Purdy throwing here. Dumps it off to his running back. He's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. The good defense is in this league. Every once in a while, they can bait a quarterback into a throw. And you do that by having eyes on the quarterback. Get into a good drop, forcing that check down. And they'd only just bait him into completion. But they knocked him backwards after the catch. Second and 12 behind the sticks. Escapes the pocket. Oh, look at this. Here he goes. Oh, look at a couple yards past the line. Making the stop that time. Taron Johnson. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Running back sends in motion. On third down, Purdy. He's going to push one deep down the right. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Couldn't find Debo Samuel on that throw. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Defender's not going to be thrilled the catch was almost made on his watch, but more importantly, he breaks it up. Gives him a chance to do a little giant after the play. Let's the other guy know he roughed him up and cost him that catch. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. Call that punt a 52-yard effort. And the Bills will take over possession.
First and 10 from the 41. Allen on the play action. Bails out of the pocket quick. Now he takes it. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He's got Khalil Shakir. And he's marked down. Looks like at the 32 yard line. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First down throw for Allen. Putting a receiver in motion. The screen pass falls incomplete. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. To throw again, it's Allen. He's got this complete to James Cook. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Slot man motioned over. Allen on third down. He rolls to his right. Oh, he's going to run for it! And he's short of the first after a mild game. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. A very short kick here from the right hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that makes this a three-score game. Samuel now to return it. And look at this return. The tackle's made, so this drive will begin at the 34-yard line. The San Francisco offense headed out to take over. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Shotgun snap for Purdy. That's brought in by Jennings. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Working 
looking out of the gun. It's Purdy. He completes it in traffic. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. before the defense halts it. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. And a tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Looking to throw, Purdy. Hits his running back. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Translatable skills. That's what you call it. So effective as a runner, but those same traits that make him a great runner, adept at getting those yards, well, he translates now as a receiver in the open field. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 23. Jake Moody on for the PAT. The point after splits the uprights. And the 49ers cut the lead down to 10. Trim just a bit, down to 10 points now as the kick is up and away. Ty Johnson now to return. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. Possession switching back to Buffalo as their offense heads out. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well.
They're out and set. First and ten. Cook trying this one up the gut. Runs into traffic and hits a wall. No gain. Brought down by Fred Warner. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Working from the gun, it's Allen. He lost it, deep left. And that's going to be knocked away, incomplete. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Man in motion, out of the slot. They're going to throw it on third and long. Complete beyond the marker. He's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that's good for a Bills first down. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed. Enough to keep this drive moving. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. They send him left out of the slot. First and ten. Here's Allen. Catches made down the right sideline. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big game and a new set of downs. Give him 24 on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. Allen now on first down. And he's not quite that fast. Let him just a bit too much. That's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Allen going to throw again. He finds Kincaid. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. The Bills are going to go ahead and call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Set up now, first and ten. Slot receiver headed left. To the air again, Allen. Connection made to Coleman. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Again, Allen to the air. He brings it in. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Now, just before the break, a timeout taken by the offense. And they can try for some points going into the break. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. It's just a 26-yarder down the middle. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that pushes the lead up to 13. Touchback. This kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. All right, 
this is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. Looking to throw. He's going to loft one deep to the left. Put in inside the 20. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. The Bills were led in the first half by their all-world quarterback, Josh Allen. He came out of the gate smoking hot with two first-quarter touchdown passes to help steer his guys towards this halftime lead. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Johnson now on the return. Coverage team gets him down for 26 yard line. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen ready to get back to work now on offense. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards too. He's been moving him down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. Drive starts out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Allen. To the it goes. He's got to be on the marker. It looks like he's staying in as well. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. They'll run it with Cook. And he's going to go down right along midfield strike. are open here. It's second and inches. Play action now. Allen. To the sideline and he's got it. And they catch up to him but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. A pick up there of 33 yards. And that's good for a Bills first down. Well that's sure one way to take the lead off the defense. Great work to find the biggest hole in the coverage, and more importantly, to go exploit it. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. They send the tight end in motion. From the red zone now. Looking end zone, but touchdown denied. Knocked away, incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And that'll bring up second down. That's just simply great positioning to swat the ball away. He stayed in a spot where he could disrupt the throw before the target and make a play on it. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Gets this to Kincaid. And he's able to get this down to the 13. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. To throw again, it's Allen. The fender runs right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. He was looking Amari Cooper's way there, and it's fourth down. 
plays like that are called twofers. It's why coaches live two years for one. All the planning, great play call, careful execution led to that, and it was still dropped to the turf. Touchdown, lost. When we start discussing who their most dependable scorer is in this game, I don't think it's one of these skill guys, not even the quarterback who comes to my mind first. You bring up this kicker. He's now a perfect fourth to four on field goals and contributing big time to this league. Kick this away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. Good looking return here, and he's got room. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. Oh, hang on there. Hang on a moment. Looks like we've got an injured player on the kick return. They're going to check on him now. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Purdy on first down. Into the hands of Kittle. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 12 there. And that's a 49er first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Shotgun, handoff to McCaffrey. And they're going to stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. Francisco first down. Shotgun snap for Purdy. That throw finds Kittle. And he's going to be brought down at the 35 yard line. Second and three now. And now headed left to McCaffrey. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. back in motion. That's brought in by Jennings. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. DeMar Hamlin getting there for the tackle. Second down now, seven to go. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. From the 28. That's him on the quick hitter. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. A seven-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Okay, one thing I learned from the late, great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes just like that. Finds a big lane, and he's finally hauled down at the 12. 
Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Chance at six here. It's second and goal. McCaffrey running between the tackles. And he's going to get taken down near the goal line. It's a gain down to the one. A solid run. Seven yards on the pickup. And that brings up third and goal. Tell me, Brock, it is a whole different world here. Running routes, working in confined spaces, instead of having that whole field to spread out a defense. Oh, spot on, Caden. Some players, that's the world they thrive in. Finding windows where windows shouldn't exist and then being ready for the throw to arrive. It happens so fast. Trusting your quarterback to make the right read and get it to you. Now the 49ers deciding to keep the offense on the field. They're going for two. Getting creative for two here. Wide receiver on the run. Ooh, and he can't shake the defense. They track him down in the backfield, and this two-point attempt fails. Well, Brock, I love the creativity. Trying to catch him a little bit off guard there, but uh, I'm sure some people seeing that call are going to say, just give it to your back and keep it simple. Like give it to Marshawn in the Super Bowl simple? <laughs> I mean, maybe. I wasn't going to go there, but yeah, maybe. Trim just a bit, down to 10 points now as the kick is up and away. Johnson with a return here. Find some space, he's past the 30. And great starting field position here as they bring him down beyond the 40. The Bills headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. Excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Now run by Cook. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Charvarius Ward brings him down. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Running back sent in motion. Here's second and five. So pass brought in. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. A play like this, that's exactly where you want to get him the ball. Right on the outside, where he's got the space and a lot more room to work. First and ten, ball set up at the 48.
They motion the slot man right. First and ten. Here's Allen. Fires right away, but incomplete. Dalton Kincaid, the intended target. So second down coming up. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to the air. Allen. We had a for a moment, but a complete defensive play to Charlie Lewis. Incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. To the air again, Allen. Well, the negative play makes it even easier to decline that flag. That's going to bring up fourth down. You got time. The Bills with a punt team out there. And he wants to hit his second effort just as well as he hit his first. Absolutely crushed his first punt. And here's another huge one. The 49ers headed back out on offense as we get another look at Brock Purdy. And the touchdown's got to keep coming for him as they still trail here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. This really isn't a route designed for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. And anytime you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards. Pretty gets this from the pistol. set of downs a big 34 yard pick up there and that's a 49er first down you know kate we often talk about flipping the field in special teams right a, a kick return a good punt well an explosive play like that does the exact same thing look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot you've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive going with mccaffrey on the ground and he found a gap to take this down to the 28. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second to one. They stick with McCaffrey. And he's caught behind the line for a long. Kate, I knew it at the time. I think everybody did. We knew the Legion of Boom was special. I like that entire secondary, but their safety's ability early camp to come downhill to make those tackles behind the line of scrimmage as he just did. Yeah, I mean, you appreciate great safety play like that. Very sure. Here's Purdy. Watch down in the pocket. He's running for it. He wisely avoids contact, sliding down there, and that played good enough for a first. Give him eight yards on the play. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays right before the snap. You know, if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. So we hit the end of the third quarter. It's 49ers ball, and they're sort of in comeback mode here. They trail to start the fourth.
got themselves another first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. Got a man, McCaffrey has it. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. These intermediate games, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. He sure keeps a defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Motion in one of the tight ends. On second down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. A five-yard gain on the play. And that's a 49er first down. Here's Purdy to throw. Chased out to his right. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. I know we talk about rhythm a lot when it comes to music, but it's the same thing with the quarterback and his protection. This QB was in rhythm, but they knocked the notes out of him on that one. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Another try following the sack. Kittle brings it in. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. And as I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit, and those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? Putting the tight end in motion. On third down, Purdy. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two and third down critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, the coach wants to see them convert those. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Johnson now on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The home teams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Looking from the gun, it's Allen. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Yeah, th this game, you just can't make it harder than it needs to be. Just get the catch first. Guarantee your yards, and then worry about escaping defenders after the catch. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down.
They sent a man in motion. Allen on third down. Complete beyond It's a great pick up, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. This is Cook on the handoff. And he's going to be blocked down after reaching the 43. In a good spot here, second and inches. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Pass complete to Cook. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all to try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? He's such an underrated part of their overall passing game. Working inside the red zone. Has it in close. Touchdown, Buffalo. And the close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. on for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Rams double their lead to 14. now to kick this away. Samuel now to return it. He'll bring him down on the return as he gets this to the 33. The 49ers back on offense and set to take over. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life, there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Ball at the 33 for first down. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Oh. 
So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Now it's McCaffrey. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, I'll tell you this, Kate. If you can't leverage the middle of the line, you're not going anywhere on the ground. And good luck leveraging him without an extra blocker or two. He just launched in with so much force and blew that play up. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. They kick the running back in motion. He throws a bullet down the left sideline. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done. Incomplete. Any DB prefers a highlight reel interception and just forcing an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized the pick wasn't possible on the play, he gets his hands on and makes sure it wasn't completed. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on four. Shotgun snap for Purdy. Pierce saw the other credits. And he'll get it up near the 38 yard line before going down. And this one won't get close. They make the stand and force that turnover on downs. I think every analytics book out there, Kate said, you got to go for it. You're in four down territory, down a couple scores here in the fourth. But now it's all about the defense. Can the defense come with a quick turnover or a stop to somehow, some way, spark a comeback? Set it downs for him at the 38. First down throw for Allen. Connection made to Coleman. And he's going to be brought down at the 35 yard line. Second down now, seven to go. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Five yards on the play. They could just do that again. Third and two coming up. plays kate is an offense it just sticks with you a little bit it bothers you that you just can't convert on a very manageable down and distance and on the other side well sure gives you some confidence defensively to get off the field davis up the middle and he's going to get this to the 29 before he stopped so the run doesn't get the yardage it's a turnover on down Certainly looking for that nail in the coffin, the knockout punch, a touchdown, and three possession lead that could put this one out of reach. Hey, it's a luxury they could afford to take in that spot. Built themselves up a little buffer here, Kate, but it's never over until it's over. Another drive coming up for this offense. Drive starting first and ten. Oh. 
Play action now with Purdy. That one's cut along the left sideline. It's a 21-yard gain. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. Running back sends in motion. We'll get this complete to Jennings. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. First down throw by Purdy. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Kick the running back in motion. The throw again. It's Purdy. Into the hands of Kittle. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl route, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. Working quickly here. Purdy on first down. Getting out to his left. Now he takes it. And this one does not go far. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. From the 19. This throw is caught. This down to the seven yard line. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. A dose of the hurry up offense here. And the gun is Purdy. And he will score. Touchdown, San Francisco. The 49ers now within one score in the fourth. Ricky Pearsall with the touchdown. So now, massive moment coming up for the 49ers as they go for two. He's throwing for it! And he goes down, the pressure gets home, and they will not take another two on that field. Okay, bro, dialing up another two-point call. And remember when your friends didn't have a voice it ring and ring and ring? It's still ringing. Fall short again, reaching that end zone. Yeah, this defense is not doing very good between the 20s or even in the red zone, but they do find a way to rise up. This is always my challenge with being super aggressive, is why give that defense something to feel good about coming off the field after you put six on the board? All right, that lead cut down to eight after that score, and the kick is away. Johnson with a return here. Pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The home team, stand receiver Amari Cooper, making their way back out. They're out and set, first and ten. Man in motion here. 
On first down, Allen. He completes it in traffic. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. We've hit the two-minute warning here in Buffalo. Bills up by eight. Second and three now. Davis takes it straight ahead. And he's brought down for a loss. So quickly, the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. Plays on the table here for third and three. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And he can't find the lane before being wrapped up at the line. With 154 remaining, the defense burns a timeout. So out now comes the punter. It'll be Sam Martin doing the honors. He's been hitting it well so far. This is another big one. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the 49ers will take over deep on their own side. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Tight end in motion right. Here he is to throw. That's taken in by Samuel. And he'll get it up to the 27. Quarterback never stared down the receiver, but he kept his eyes downfield until he found that open window. Is that posse route finds and beats on the coverage. 49ers moving quickly, trying to get their offense to the line. Looking to throw it. That's brought in by Jennings. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. They get six and a first down as well. Forty ers moving quickly, trying to get their offense to the line. To throw. Is made down the right sideline. And he goes out. Just needed one more step to reach midfield. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And that's a 49er first down. To the line for a new set of downs. Only a lone timeout at their disposal. Now to throw. Second down coming up. Throwing now. Trying to see down the middle. And he takes it in for the touchdown. Down to their last breaths. And he gives them a shot now to force overtime. So there's part one, Brock. They get the touchdown that they desperately needed. Now, you'd imagine, comes a try for two. Yeah, and this might be just as tough as to go get that touchdown they just did because, while well, they work on two-point conversions, but they're difficult. This is also a must-have, though, Kate, if they want to try and force overtime. So now, massive moment coming up for the 49ers as they go for two. Here he is to throw. And that catch gets them the two. We're all tied up here in the four. Woo, crisis.
Bruins are murdered, Brock. They got the two and the tie for now, at least. It looks like they have saved off the L and forced themselves overtime. Yeah, those two critical words you just said right there, for <laughs> now, like for right <laughs> now. But there's a lot more time on that clock than this defense would care to see. They got to step up. Offense just stepped up, got the two-point conversion. Now defense, you got to respond to send this game to overtime. Surprising that he wasn't out there to break the tie with a point after as he gets out there now to kick this off. Johnson now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And even with some time left, Brock, a long ways to go to get into range for a game winner. They're going to need to move it in a hurry. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Setting up to pass. And the first down pass set away by a defender incomplete. He was looking Amari Cooper's way there. And we'll see what they do here on second down. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. On the handoff, here's Davis. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Just one yard on the run. That brings up fourth down. Defenses at this level, really any level, will let you run it there all day, every day, and twice on Sundays. You can give up yards, even a healthy chunk of them. But just float the ball and make sure he's brought to a halt well shy of that first down marker. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And he makes the fair catch inside the 45. Well, Brock, four quarters, couldn't decide a winner. And now we're set up for an exciting conclusion to this contest. Overtime is coming up next. From the jaws of defeat, they snatch this game away. And now we're off in overtime to decide it. Johnson with a return here. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. The Bills set to take over offensively. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it.
It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Handoff headed right. It's Cook. And this one is stopped after getting up past the 35. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. It's a design boot. Short pass cut by his tight end. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. Throwing now on first down, Allen. Gets him in the out route. And he's out of bounds after getting this to the opposing 45. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Allen now on first down. He was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. He was looking for Keon Coleman on that throw. And now they face second down. You know, the goal on a lot of these short throws is to simply let the receiver create some yards after the catch, that yak. Well, I think he was thinking about the yak before he actually secured the catch. They've got a man in motion. Now Allen off the play action. He's got it to him yet again. Decent gain here, but short of the first. Third and just two to go. Cook trying this one up the gut. Duke the defender. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He fires one deep down the left side. Took his shot at six that time. And it sets up second down. Well, QB put it pretty close to the sideline to begin with. And the defender, look at him, just put his little hand right out there and just encouraged it to fall out of bounds. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Dump off top by his back. And he's brought down at the line. Simply part of the job description for any running back in today's game. You're out there, you're going to be one of your quarterback's most important safety valves. And you've got to be ready for that check down at all times. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Running back sent in motion. Allen on third down. He's got the hook up to Cooper. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Big moment for Tyler Bass here. It's a 38-yarder from the left hash. It's good. The kick sails through. And the pressure now applied to that opposing sideline. That's no gimme. And that's a pressure kick right there. And it's not going to win in the ballgame. But now, you set your defense up with the opposite. 
opportunity. Go out there and close it out. We'll see if their defense can hold now and finish off an overtime win as the kick is away. His return start to the five. He's got a lane past the 30. And they finally bring him down after a huge return into their territory. Well, we all know this drive could win them the game or they could lose it. They wanted good field position. They didn't get good field position. They got great field position. Now outruns their offense to take over. Their defense held at least a little, Brock, but the pressure is still on. They need a field goal to keep this game going or a touchdown to end it. And I can promise you right now, lie detector test in that huddle, every single one of those guys have asked says, I want a touchdown. I'm not even thinking of a field goal. That should be your mindset to go finish this game right now. Now again, it's McCaffrey heading right. And tough sledding for him. Only room to get it to the 30. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Now Purdy. Too solid there to grab it. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. That play goes for eight yards, and it keeps these drive moving. That pitch and catch won't show up as a big play on the stat sheet, but it gives his own defense a little time to rest and gives an offensive coordinator a new set of downs to work with. From the gun, McCaffrey. And he gets up for a gain of about four. Second and six coming up here. Brady gets this from the pistol. Completed here to McCaffrey. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. They'll be left with just one more to work with here in OT. Fourth down now, and on comes Jake Moody for the 49ers field goal. A pretty automatic look for him from the left. The kick is good. He got it. And we're going to keep on keeping on here in overtime. All right. Officially, the next score wins this game. And they hope they'll get another chance to make that score because right there, they had a shot to win it with a touchdown. Instead, they had to settle for tying it up. Now on the return. 
turn, gets him to the 32-yard line before he's taken down. Now we've got the Bills offense headed back to the field. To reference another type of football I'm quite familiar with, Brock, we're in sudden death now, baby. Golden goal territory. The next score is going to win it, and they get the first shot. And I think play caller, offense, quarterback should all be confident, right? You know now with your kicker and the confidence he has for making that last kick, just get yourself into range and go get that W. First and 10. Here's Allen. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to the air. Allen. Short close drops. This one's incomplete. Dalton Kincaid, the intended target there. That's going to leave him with a tough third and long. You know, he might complete 99 out of 100 of those short, simple routes to the tight ends. Even the shortest and simplest of throws, well, it's due to end up in a drop at some point. They'll throw on third and long. Escapes out to the left. Oh, he's going to run for it. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. Operating from the gun. It's Allen. He's got it to him yet again. That is cut. And he's out of bounds after getting this one to the opposing 45-yard line. Second and three now. This is Cook. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. First and ten from the 41. Receiver in motion, going left. First down throw for Allen. Complete, it's Cooper. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. 16 yards on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Here's Cook. He sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Hand off here to Davis. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the carry, though. It's third and seven now. Now it's Cook. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. One yard on the play, and now they've got fourth down and six. So here they are, a chance to win this with a field goal. San Francisco calls its second timeout. And that'll leave them with just one remaining in overtime.
Big moment for Tyler Bass here. Miss a 39-yarder from the left hash. The kick is good. He got it. And they've taken back the lead. Now he's getting into the territory that's great for him as an individual, Kate. There are many kickers who can break. They've made this many kicks six in one game. But this is also not great for the offense because this means six times they've gotten within range and couldn't find their way to the end zone. So the roar of Bills Mafia. It's a win for their guys in Buffalo. And they only needed to set him up with a shot to connect and win it with three. And his aim was true to make it happen and put an end to this competitive ball game.